So guys, I'm in Cracker Barrel right now. I just want to ch check out some stuff behind me. There's some stuff I want to check out right behind me there that they got in recently that I just saw. Just wanted to show you guys what they have. Right over here. So right in when you walk out from, from the right into the front door right there, come around the corner, there's this big display of stuff right here for for men, women. A lot of men's stuff over here. Which is surprisingly. A lot of Duke Cannon stuff. Looks like some kind of uh, beard, soaps, beard bombs, beard oil. What really sparked my interest is this soap right here. I've been wanting to try this out. I can't find this anywhere. The Duke Cannon Bay Rum Soap. And from the looks of the sign, it is only, I believe, $7.99. So pretty good deal. They also have uh, the other soaps in front of me. Naval Diplomacy, Victory, Productive Wins the Day. Also some other hair stuff here. And also the Bush soap here, which is really, really interesting to really check out. It's got a sandalwood scent on it and a hot shave, shave gel. Well, there's some more soaps there. Other brands, looks like they have uh, Zoom bars. But pretty cool selection here. But this is what I'm gonna grab. This is I'm right here and I can't find it anywhere else. So guys, as you can see, I picked up that bar of soap or as they call it, big ass brick of soap from Cracker Barrel, the Bay Rum. This is the uh, Duke Cannon Bay Rum, and I've been trying to find this forever. They were supposed to have it in Targets, but I've never seen it there at Target or any other stores or even Walgreens, but I think Walgreens does carry some Duke Cannon products, but mainly Target does. But when I discovered that they had this at the uh, Cracker Barrel, definitely had to grab it because I've been hearing some good things about the soap. And look how big it is. One thing, it's, one thing about the soap, it's huge. It's about, I want to say it's about, uh, 10 ounces of soap, so this is actually equal to three common bars of soap you see in the, in the stores, in your local supermarkets or your drug stores. So this is actually a huge bar of soap. And I just love Duke Cannon products. I mean, they are a great American company. They're made in USA. They're actually made in Minnesota. And one thing about Duke Cannon is, is that they, they give a lot of their profits back to veteran causes. Uh, take a look at their website. I mean, I mean, you can go to the website and take a look on DukeCannon.com. They support a lot of different veteran causes. And that's one thing about, I like about this company. And just the fact that they also provide soaps to the military. And they actually, they actually uh, provide the soaps to the active duty military at their neighboring base in Minnesota. I think it's called uh, Camp Rip Ripley, if I'm not mistaken. But great organization, great, great uh, company. And one of their purposes I, I read online was they are in the business of making superior quality grooming products that meet the high standards of hardworking men. So they're all about making stuff just purely for hardworking men, men that go out there and, and just basically build America and do all kinds of great stuff. But anyway, guys. I'm gonna do a review on the soap. So I've been 
Wheaton tried to do a review on one of these Duke Cannon Soaps, and I've used the old Milwaukee one that they had, the 10 ounce, the big ass brick of soap, but I'm gonna do a review on this one. So guys, my criteria for judging a soap is uh, three things. It's gonna have good ingredients, preferably all natural, if, if not bad for your skin. Uh, number two, it's gonna smell great. And number three, it's gonna have good lathering ability. If it doesn't have, if it doesn't lather that great, then it goes in the trash. I don't like the soap. And also, one thing about soaps is when you when you see something like this, soaps are usually made with uh, decent ingredients. If you see beauty bar or or cleansing bar, that means it's full of chemicals that are not good for your skin. So you always want to look for, look for a, something like this that, has, that says actual word soap on it because it has the good ingredients on there. So guys, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and get this started here. Let me go ahead, go ahead and uh, get my lathering. This is what I use for my lathering right here, which is my Selux cleaning cloths. So these are like nylon cloths you can buy on Amazon. Great for the shower. Great for lathering soaps. These stretch this and make it last longer for soaps. So anyway, guys, guys, let's take a look at the packaging here one more time. So Bay Rum, nice packaging. It says uh, Duke Cannon Big Ass Brick of Bay Rum Soap. And it says right there, Citrus Musk, Island Spice. So pretty cool looking label there. And it just screams summer, summer and spring to me. And also has the Duke Cannon label logo on the, on the side of it here. And when you go to the inside of here, I'm gonna take it out and take a smell of this. It actually says right there, in appreciation of men and women who have served their country, our country, Duke Cannon Supply Company donates a portion of proceeds to veteran causes. It says it right there, right on the inside lip right there. So very, very nice. And it says right there, the soap specs three times the size of normal soaps you find in the supermarkets. Also, triple milled soap for superior quality. So this thing is huge. Let me take it out here. And man, it smells really nice. Different, different Bay Rum scent, definitely. It smells bright and spicy, but there's a, there's a brick of soap there, has a big D on it. And also on this right here, it says Made in USA. And also says, uh, not for clowns. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that means, a little bit of humor there. But anyway, guys, great looking box. Has a little philosophy right there about Duchanan. And also the ingredients are right on the box. I'll actually put them on the screen so you guys can see it. But uh, great stuff. Um, ingredients, I'll go ahead and actually I'll read it to you. It says sodium telloate and or sodium palmate, which are basically uh, animal fat, lye that mixes with uh, sodium, sodium hydroxate. Good stuff for your skin. And sodium palmate is just basically the uh, the uh, palm acid that they use also that they might use for, that helps with the cleansing of your skin too. And sodium coconate, which is basically the salt from the, the I believe from the coconut. It's actually like a, the, they, they use oils for cleansing, which combine with sodium hydroxide. And it says us, uh, and or sodium caraclate, Okay, I'm not sure if I've seen it right, but that's from the uh, palm kernels. Also aqua, glycerin, fragrance, sodium chloride, iron oxides, uh, pentasodium pentatate, which is, I think that actually holds, keeps the stuff from breaking down in the soaps. And the iron oxides is actually the coloring for the soap. It gives us the color. And deemed safe from what I've seen online so anyway, guys, decent ingredients. Uh, smells nice. So I would probably give this right now probably a score of seven. It does smell nice. So let's take a look and see how it lathers. So anyway, guys, let me go ahead and put this on the Selects cleansing cloths I have right in front of me here. So let's take a look and see how much soap I get from this or lather. Just gonna put a little bit on here. So these cloths are actually, I did, I did a review on these cloths a while back 
And they are great for, for bathing, showers, even doing also for a shave prep, just to prep your face a little bit while you're in the shower, just great lather on these things. It gets, it makes us, it stretches the soap out to make it last longer that I find, so. And also they just dry so nice. They dry, completely dry within a couple hours, so they're not sitting there wet and damp for a while, um, getting all kinds of, uh, there's a little bit of water on here. So I put a little bit of soap on there, so let's see how it lathers. So as you can see, pretty decent lather, not too bad. Yeah, very nice. I'm kind of giving myself a bath right here, right in front of the mirror, but yeah, definitely, definitely not bad. I didn't use much soap on this. I just kind of just rubbed it on there a few times, squeezed the uh, Selux cleaning cloth here, and man, great lather. And the scent is probably about, the scent strength is probably about a six. Not very strong, but definitely, definitely do smell it. I, especially in a shower back there, you can probably smell it in an enclosed space. But very, very nice. It's, it's supposed to be like a sunny and bright scent. Not your typical bay rum, which is normally like spicy, uh, has the, uh, you know, the spicy nutmeg, that type smell to it. This is actually, this is actually nice and bright. So I was reading on, on, online that this is actually, the scent notes of this is citrus musk, uh, cedarwood, and island spices. So definitely a nice, nice scent. And nice lather too also. Anyway guys, but anyway, seven, I got this soap for $7.99 from Cracker Barrel, and I looked online, it, it is about $10, so definitely get a, a little bit of a discount. Let me rinse my hands off of here. So you definitely get a little bit of a discount if you buy it retail, which is surprisingly, because online it is more. So if you see them at Target or you see them at Cracker Barrel, they're usually gonna be lower, like two or three dollars lower. So they definitely get, get a good deal. And I love Ducanon. They have the great stuff. They have their, their body washes. They have their beard bombs. Their shaving products there. You know, they have, uh, man, they have all kinds of uh, solid colognes. Just different things for uh, for men, basic, basically. But as you can see, I love their aftershave balm. They're ice cold. <laughs> I'm down to here. So this is my second bottle. I've used this stuff like twice, bought two bottles. This is my second bottle. The first one I used all completely for after my, did my shaves from uh, wet shaving. So great stuff and this stuff is amazing too. But, so my score, I'm, gonna get, I'm just gonna give it, I'm just gonna say it right now. Good natural ingredients. Um, I wouldn't say they're all natural, but they're not bad for your skin. I mean, they are decent ingredients. So I would probably give that a scale of seven, probably about eight. Actually, I'll, I'll go eight. So eight for my for my score for for natural ingredients uh, sm smells great. I would probably give this about about a seven. Different different type of bay rum scent. Yeah, different. Not your typical bay rum scent. More bright, just more bright and eye opening to me. Com compared to your normal bay rum scent. And lathering ability is probably about a nine. So overall, I'll probably give this to about an eight on a scale from zero to 10. Eight as, which is pretty decent rating for soap. And especially for this great value, seven seven nine nine for a 10 ounce of soap that'll last you forever. Especially this really, really hard soap. This is like triple milled, so this will last you at least the least the last one I had, which was the old Milwaukee, this one that one lasted me for at least three months from three about three months from doing a shower every day and using using this with my Selux cloths. So I got about three months worth of uh, worth of uh, baths from that soap. But anyway, guys, that's my short review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys let me know let me know what you think about Duke Cannon products below in the comment section. And if you enjoy using them like I do, I love it. I love their products, especially their shaving products. Their aftershave, aftershave bomb, and their soaps too. Their big ass bricks of soaps. Great stuff. Guys, if you like this video, hit like, subscribe, and I will do more little videos like this, more reviews, and I will see you guys later.
Take care.